Okay, g'day everyone, here's the video two. If you didn't see the previous one, jump back into that. I gave you a, uh, a page here, let's have a quick flashback. I gave you this page uh, with all the definitions on it uh, for you to do. If you want a copy of that, email me. Now, this video, this is about Eulerin and Hamiltonian networks. Now, this is a bit of crazy stuff. It's not that difficult. Sattler, in our book, does a pretty good job on page 140 in this book. I've got this version, page 140. But it's a lot of words. It's a lot of words. And it's right, but it's a lot of words. I came up with this diagram back in 2016 when this came out. I reckon this is much easier. Follow through with it. So, the first thing that we've got to be aware of is if you are looking at edges or an Euler network, then that's the thing you're counting. Edges are the key thing. If you're looking at a Hamiltonian network, the vertices are the key thing. Okay. Now, this will come in later on, but think about this. Edges, I said to my class back in 2016, I remember this, I said, you are a street sweeper. You know those uh, trucks that go around sweeping the curbs? You are a street sweeper. Therefore, you've got to get to every single edge in the network, in the neighborhood. Right? So this is your street sweepers. Okay, Got to get past every edge. Over here, this, we're going to the Louvre. Sorry about my French. What we're gonna, we've got some things that we want to see. We've got some things in the museum we want to see. Here, 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 and here. We want to make sure we get past every one of them on our way. Okay, So we're looking at vertices, all the points that we want to hit. Points we want to hit edges we want to hit. Street sweeper, the Louvre. Very bad, I know, I know. Right, so let's come on down. Let's come on down. Okay, so let's work on the left-hand side here. Travel every edge once and only once. We don't want to street, sweep the streets twice. What's the point? We've already done this once and only once. Okay, then ignore this side over here, we'll come back. Then we've got to decide, do we return to the first vertex, where we started from. Do we return there on our last edge, or do we finish somewhere else? Do we finish somewhere else along the network, and actually we don't return, okay? Therefore, if we return, we've done an Euler and circuit, or a closed Euler. Either way is fine. Now here's the key, here's the key. No odd numbered vertices. So every vertice would be an even numbered vertice. Now, talking about those numbered vertices, let's jump back here. Oh, here we go, here we go. Where is it? It comes into Euler's rule a little bit as well. Uh, I know down here I've got it somewhere. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, geez. It's got to be here somewhere. Closed, open, length, uh, connected. Oh, no. Maybe it's not here. Planar subgraph tree bipartite. Degree of a vertex. There we go. Degree of a vertex and odd vertex, even traversability. Right. This stuff in here, this stuff in here will help you to understand this. Okay. So no odd vertices. You must be an Euler and circuit or a closed Euler. Okay. If you don't return, if you don't return to your first vertex, then you must have two and only two odd vertices. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Okay, trust me, it won't work. Try with one. Then you would call it an Euler trail, or a semi Euler, or an open Euler. So you can see how this naming matches with that one open, closed, Euler and trail, Euler, Euler and circuit. This is just another way to say it. We probably could just say Euler in here but it might be a bit unclear as to what one we're meaning. So semi Euler is clear. Euler and kind of explains all of them. So make sure you put circuit or closed with these ones. Let's do a couple of examples here. Okay, now let's just look at the degree of the vertices. Two, 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 two. Notice that they're all even degree vertices. If I start here, I go bingo. I went through every edge and I finished up at the same vertice. I can walk every edge and finish at the starting vertice. I got my students to actually, with a different color pen, draw arrows along the lines of where they were going. 
okay? And that way they could see it on there. This one, walked every edge and did not return to the starting vertex. Okay, let's look. Degree of vertex, two, two, three, three. Notice that there are two odd vertices. So that'll be traversable, but I must start at one of those odd vertices. So I must start here or here, and I will finish at the other one. Watch, start here, up there, down, down, across, up, and back to there. Notice where I finished, but I traced every edge. It doesn't matter that I went through the same vertice more than once, that's okay, but I traced every edge once. If I start here, I could go like this, across, down, across, up, roof, done. Notice I start there, I finish there. If I start there, I finish there. So walked every edge, did not return to the starting vertex because there were two odd vertices. All right, so that's a little nice little rundown there of the Euleron edges we're talking about, open or closed, and then a couple of diagrams. Let's do the same over here. So if we're talking about vertices, we're talking Hamiltonian. We're going to the museum. We're going to travel around. We want to see a certain number of things, but we don't have to walk every hallway. The hallways are boring. We just want to get to the key points, right? So do we visit every vertex? Now, key, no repeated edges. You cannot repeat an edge when you're doing this. Otherwise, you'd be able to scoot around 14 different ways and pick everything up. That doesn't count. You can't repeat an edge. Now, similarly, just like over here, returns to first vertice, doesn't, return, or edge, sorry, or vertice, not a vertice, returns to first vertice, doesn't return to first, same idea. Some similar words, I'll get out the way, look at this. Similar words, close, Hamiltonian, Hamiltonian cycle, very similar. Open, uh, Hamiltonian path, semi-Hamiltonian, very similar, okay? Now let's get to the diagrams. Here we go. So I want to, on this left-hand one here, this left-hand one is the closed Hamiltonian, which is the one where we return to the first vertex. Right, so if I start here, can you see how I can go, picked up that vertex, picked up that vertex, and back to the start? Now you might say, but you didn't go along that guy there. Doesn't matter. I don't have to go along everyone. I just can't repeat any. So you could have gone, and that would be fine as well. Similarly, you could start at any of these vertices, would work fine, no problems at all. This one on the end there, this one on the end. Visit every vertice, but did not return to the starting vertice. Now, this is where you've got to be thinking. You've got to be a thinker here. I'll do an incorrect example. If I start here, can you see how I could go there, 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 up to there, but I can't go back to there because I've already done him. I, I can't go back. I can't repeat a vertice. I only need to go to every vertice once. Because think, if that's in the museum and I do this, I've already seen that thing. I don't want to go back there. I've seen it. So you've got to think where I'm going to start. I would start here and do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got all the vertices, but I didn't return to the start. Now those a little ahead of you might have gone, well hang on, you finished up there, couldn't you have started there? I could, I could have gone, and in a similar way, I could have started here and gone, or I could have started here and gone, oh sorry, to there, could have started here and gone. So there's a number of different ways you can achieve that one by going to every vertice, but not returning to the starting vertice. This sheet here, as I say, I did this up in oh, 2016, there you go, 2016 and revised a few little things. I can't remember what I did, I changed a little bit. Maybe I just put a little bit extra wording in. But if you would like a copy of this one, please just email me chris.simpson at siwa.edu.au. I'll put it in the description below. Please email me, get a copy of this, have it handy, see it there, take a reduced copy of it down onto your notes, Perfect. Thanks guys. See you later.